I play through each session. I record 10 saves and then I stop streaming because then I go back in off stream and I record, I use all of those saves to record bits of footage at each one of those progression points, you know, because I'm, I want to make a video of this ASAP for the main channel. Not not a gameplay video, just like uh, kind of a review slash short video essay about it and La Milana likes and how there are none. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I was doing that with this last session uh, recorded yesterday morning. I was recording footage for for this part of the game. God, <clears throat> I can talk anymore. And uh, when I was recording this like secret spot, which I'm going to head to right now, that's why I loaded up this save and not like the most recent one. I noticed something. I knew it then. And I was like, hmm, ah. And I was like, I wonder if there's any way. Come on, don't do it. I got to. All right, don't. Let's just go there, but I'm not going to talk about it until I get there. Ow, you ah. So yeah, there's this room. And then I was like, there's this. And I was like, I wonder... At first, I'm like, huh, okay. And then it just came to me, and I was like, I wonder if we're insane, we can read that. Like, we're sane, and it's just gibber gibberish. But if we're insane, we'll be able to read it. And sure enough, that was true. And then... When I was recording footage yesterday, uh, there is the... Where is this? It's one of these. Um, talks about armor. Yeah, we have the Mark of Resolve. With that, they carry their Mark of Resolve just like the new Lug. Okay. Father Dagon, Nulug. Yeah, a suit of armor was once created for a Nagaro warrior to aid in their war. Is it like, I don't know. My voice sounds a lot deeper in my ears right now. I wonder if anything is happening with my audio. Since the war ended, Yig's six children guard the armor, keeping it locked away, hidden from the treacherous and unworthy Nagaro. So, Yig is the serpent god. Yig's children are serpents. And I was like looking around while I was recording footage. And I'm like, where are there six serpents? And there are right here, six of these serpent thingies. And then I remember when I came here, when we first discovered this, there's an arrow on the wall over there. There's water with an arrow on the wall. And when I was here, I was like, hmm, I wonder if there's a way to get past him and keep going over there to the right. But there's not, uh, you know, well, right now there's not. Like, you just automatically leave the room. So I'm like, okay, where is there water? Uh, and the first thing that comes to mind, which we're going to load right now, is there's this big body of water that we sailed across to get here. There's also down where we fought Dagon. Where we fought Dagon, uh, there's a... Looks like a room we can access. <clears throat> but I wasn't able to figure out how to open it. Open the door to it. Or there's like a block that looks like we should be able to break it. But then here, there's this. Okay, I was hoping it would open. Hmm. The mural is marking made by the Nagaro. It signifies this cave as part of their territory. Once upon a time, they must have had an outpost on the surface here. Could they have spread across the world as well? Uh, cultist key. Nagaro talisman. Oh shit, wrong button. Whoops. Okay. It is here, maybe. Whoops. 
but I need a key. There's another key hole in a wall, some like in uh, the Voynich Glade, I think. Yeah. So we got to find a key. Maybe it's this. Some sort of key or talisman. <laughs> but we need to fully charge that. We have two of them. Okay. That might be how we do this. Nice. Uh, how do we... I need to find the... I should probably make a... Uh... A screenshot of this if I don't already have one. Hang on. Videos, Eldritchvania. Uh. <laughs> um, logic puzzles. Yeah, this is the other keyhole. Hmm. That looks, it's just a drawing, that one. But then there's this block over here that looks like we can get through. First piece, alter hint. What is this? Oh, yeah. Okay, so I don't have a screenshot of this yet. Um, we need the Cthulhu hint. So that is in here. Right in front of Cthulhu. Uh, is that it? No. Yes. Yes, no. We're looking for the tablet that's in front of him. It's not that one. Wait, is it this one? Yes. Okay, let me take a screenshot of this. Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? Gondola, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Eh? Hey, Nutty Mitchell. Ooh, woo. Oh, whoa. <laughs> What's up? How you doing? We are playing Eldritchvania, which is like uh, La Mulana-like. Metroidvania with a lot of riddles and puzzles and stuff. What are you up to today? Yo, welcome. Appreciate you. Uh -huh. We're going to go... Qu quest hint? Quest hints. All right, the dreaming sleeper at the bottom of the sea, the key to the gate. Hmm, the key to the gate. Well, I'm pretty sure the key in Lovecraftian lore is Yog sothoth but I don't know if I've seen Yog sothoth anywhere in the entire game. So let's just wander for now. Thank you, Nutbot. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's now, there we go. Yeah, I changed it, Powerhouse, because everyone else uses S-O, exclamation point S-O for the command. And I was the only one who had, like, exclamation point S only. So I wanted to be consistent with other people, I guess. Ah! Yeah. Welcome back to the house of God. So I got family coming over in like a couple hours. I hate playing with just an analog stick. That's Especially this analog stick seems very sensitive. So we're looking for a mural of Yog sothoth or I could just progress deeper. Let's just go to the where we're supposed to go first. I am going to be 100%ing this. Okay. Eldritch Horror Secret Pixel Game, son of a bitch, I'm in. And it's free. What's up, Freshtopia? It's this is a La Mulana like. How you doing today? Yeah, it's basically here, let me just do this real quick. One of the only La Mulana likes that I know of. It's small, it's completely free, and it's it's got like four main areas, but I mean, La Mulana is like a, a 70, 80 hour game, pretty much. Maybe 60 hour or whatever. This game, we're at 13.9 hours. I play slowly, especially on stream, you know? So lots of like just sitting around chatting or whatever, but... Uh, 
yeah it's good stuff it's really good if you're interested yeah small if you're interested in this type of thing where there's like so shub nigorath yeah it's all based on lovecraftian lore too and there's a it's like la milana but there's a sanity mechanic in it as well so or insanity so that's cool and again it was nice hanging out with you last night on your stream had a couple beers i was working on some noita stuff oh yeah let me keep that image open uh this all right so shub nigorath we need to go to the next one is the key to the gate i don't know if we have to do it in a certain order let me just let me check let me make sure I could try scanning this one, and if it works... Because maybe we don't have to do it in the order that it tells us. Uh, okay, we don't. You just gotta go to all of them. Oh, that's so much easier. So much easier, all right. Hell yeah. All right. So, that means that's so much... Oh, my God. Uh, key to the gate. I don't know where that is yet. King in, King of Yellow. I don't know its name, even, or his name, even. But somebody in chat yesterday was talking about it. Or not yesterday, the day before. Black Toad, ruler of Nightless Nakai. We can go there and scan that. Father of Serpents is Yig. Okay, I can do, like, most of this now. Hell yes. Yes. Okay. I've been wanting to get into La Milana, so I think this will scratch that itch. Not to mention Eldritch stuff is always cool. Yeah, yeah. It was really good vibes, man. It was really nice to <laughs> hang out, have a couple beers, and just uh, talk about some good stuff. Some nice conversation. And... Uh, try to write an email over the course of like an hour and a half <laughs> while a little bit tipsy a business email it was so great I reread it and I'm like it's okay <laughs> no problem uh, I don't think there's anything over here but let me check I should probably keep that on for now <laughs> okay, now. And some people have... Uh... Getting stuck. Interesting. Is there something here? Some people have compared the graphic style in this to, uh... Like, Braid. Hand-painted. Hand-drawn. I like it. Hooey. But yeah, after watching you, <laughs> I wasn't super drunk, but I only had two IPAs. Two tall boys, though. I was like, I was only going to have one, and then it was just fun. It was nice to hang out, so I just kind of cracked open another one. And I, I was writing this email and also um, recording or, or working on some Noita stuff, collecting... I think I mentioned it, collecting plastic in Noita, because I'm doing like a big uh, crazy alchemy experiment run in Noita, where I uh, I had built a base. I'm collecting every material in the game, and I'm going to like experiment with mixing them together and uh, running electric current through them and doing just random experiments, trying burning them, freezing them, having them melt, etc. And then, you know... I was doing some of this stuff, like... This I did the other day, but last night I got another bag. So, like, every time the shotgunner shoots you, or shoots at you, or just shoots, a single pixel of plastic is created. It's a shell casing, 
It's just like this one little red pixel flies off of them, and you can collect those pixels in a bag. To get a bag of plastic. And uh, the glue the glue enemies also create uh, plastic. And some of the bottles and the Heesey Base bars, those uh, red, green, and blue bottles are plastic as well. But those are not powder. You have to melt those if you want, like, molten plastic or something. Anyway. Hey, Dice Addict. Hello. Hello, hello. Right, you were doing the Giant Alchemy World. I can't wait to see that. We're going to be working on it again on Wednesday. Not until then. Today is just going to be a short, short stream just to get one in. Oh, whoops. Yeah, I don't want to drown. Just want to try to progress through this game. Uh, I want to try to finish this game in the next few days. Because I want to make a video about it. It's like a short video essay about it. So, um, all right. This is, why can't I, oh. Azathoth, all right. Let me get more air down here first. And then I want to, there's this hole with stars around it. I'm also a little tired today. I went to sleep too late, uh, of course, that I have been. Okay, so this is a void. Let's see if this is one of these. Okay, it's not. That simplifies things. It also, I was afraid that this, I have to bring it around to murals depicting all of the, the outer gods of Lovecraft. And I thought maybe if I scanned them out of order or something, it would reset and I'd have to start over again. I'm glad that it's simple or simplified. I think in La Mulana, it would probably mess up and you'd have to rescan them in a certain order. But in this game, it's more, more friendly, you know. How you doing, Dice Addict? Ah. Uh, hope you're having a nice Monday. Monday evening. I knew that it shot out the shell, but I had no idea you could pick them up. Yeah. Yeah. There's another kind of plastic in the game, too. Besides, like, that plastic, you can melt into molten plastic. And then there's, um... There are fake vases in the game. Uh, right now the script is broken. There's supposed to be vase mimics in Noita. But they don't attack you or move like they're supposed to. But you know, like the purple and pink vases, there are some that you, that are made out of plastic and not stone, and you could walk through them. And those are supposed to be mimics, and you can melt those vases down. And uh, hopefully collect it to get a, cer a unique kind of, or different kind of plastic. But if you try to solidify it again, it solidifies into, or it tries to solidify into a box 2D object, like an object, and then your game will probably crash. So we're gonna experiment with that too, at some point, trying to shift that and see what kind of horrible monstrosity of a world we can end up with by trying to shift like water into a box 2D object, like a physics object. Uh, all right. Nice. More Metroidvania, less trolling. Yep. Yep, yep. All right. Let's see. Well, this is a snake, a serpent. Oh, it is one of them. Okay. Huh. Interesting. So I guess, is that Yig? then well whatever it's nice that i don't have to worry about doing it in the wrong order i think
before we go there, let's go this way. Uh, Noita never fails to blow my mind. What an amazing game. Yeah. It's just, who would have thought that it, I mean, I knew it was going to be very deep with the pixel simulation and everything, but then just I in the beginning, in the very beginning, I didn't know how complex the wand crafting was going to get. And it's just crazy how there's so many different mechanics in Noita, and each one of them is very deep. So deep that for over four years later, I'm still making videos of it without like reaching the bottom, you know? Like I can still cover this stuff. And like some of the stuff I'm gonna be covering, like how to get plastic, like that. I'm recording footage for like a a big video on all this base building stuff I've been doing, including all the weird alchemy and whatever. Um, maybe two different videos, we'll see. Probably. Probably two different videos. Uh, but it's just a, a lot of that stuff maybe most people wouldn't be interested in. But there's always people who are. Because, you know, I am. <laughs> and whatever. And I'm, I want to make a video about that crap anyway, because it's like so interesting. Do you think you'll ever do a playthrough of La Mulana on YouTube? Um, ah, of course it knocks me out of the loading screen or back into the loading screen. Probably. I think I'm going to do one on stream. Like my plan for e for content creation, that's oh, all good, whatever, um, is to whatever. We're, we're just going to do this. Uh... I'm a little slow today again, so whatever. So all these games, not all of this footage is videos I'm going to make, but some of them are like this is an old school JRP. I mean, not JRPG MMO that I used to play and it's now on Steam. So I started playing it again last year or whatever. And it's such it's an MMO, old school MMO, like Ultima Online and whatever such a grind but it's like oh my god i love it so much but i really have to like keep myself from playing it because i can very easily just put all my time into playing this game because it's so addictive uh but i just recorded some footage of that like my guild hunting hunting these things like these very whatever bad kind of bad looking crystal wyverns but they're like so deadly but they dropped the best stuff in the game anyway. <laughs> but uh, yeah, stop it game. So videos I'm going to make on the main channel of Animal Well, Fez, La Mulana. Like, you know, I've shown this stuff a bunch. I have all this footage, Rain World. Uh, and then also I have the... Uh, the group is whatever. I might start doing something on the group. I don't know. But really, I made the group so that I can make a an, a curator page. Um, and I'm going to start reviewing, like I've already started, reviewing these games that are all about secrets and like Metroid Brainias and stuff like that. Knowledge-based games like Outer Wilds. Uh, I want to make videos of all these games new ones coming out like animal well and probably normal fishing as well and any anything else that is like this type of game review it on here and then i'm gonna make a website also where i'm gonna put all my videos my like video essays about this stuff all of these reviews i want to kind of like make that brand you know like really pull everything together and really really dive in deep into like this but I've been having a little bit of a, uh, and, and yeah, so I want to, all these games I want to play on stream also, again, I'm going to be starting Fez soon so that I could like refresh my memory because I want to make a Fez video, like a short video essay on Fez just to get my feet wet in that type of content, you know, more, um, 
And yeah, so I want to do all that on stream and then upload the playthroughs over to the other channel. Which... The other channel, Fury Squared, is going to be VODs like it, like it always has been. But I might start recording actual just videos for that channel, you know? But gameplay... I keep all the gameplay over on that channel and keep the main channel more video essay and showcasey and that type of evergreen content guides, you know? Um, wait, hang on. I went into the wrong entrance here. I don't think I can get up there. I don't think I can get up at all over here. No. Yeah, I gotta go backtrack a bit uh I need the, where's the other entrance to this place I can't remember right now but it's it's just up above this someplace <clears throat> eh. and uh, yeah <laughs> sorry I'm having a very derpy day Totally not related at all to having two two really strong IPAs last night. Going to sleep late. Yeah, it's right here. So this, this is Yig's symbol. So maybe I can scan this. Nope. Okay, so the serpent one outside was Yig. This is just, okay. Nice. And then Sathaga is in here. And then after I look around in this place, we we have the new entrance or the other entrance into the uh, the sunken city, where we have to go through all the death mist. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> I gotta work, but shall be lurking. Definitely gonna have to pick this up and try it out. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Freshtopia. Have a good day. Have a good work day. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. All right, who's this? Is this anybody? Yig. Oh, well, maybe this is Yig. Maybe the other one was not Yig. I don't know. Nope. Okay. Isn't that the symbol, same symbol as the second keyhole room? The one that I just uncovered at the beginning of stream or... You mean the jellyfish looking thing? The, the jellyfish is, uh, represents the, who, the Nagaro? Wait, it represents the Nagaro race. Yeah, they're, they're around in random locations, but I might as well... Uh, scan it. Oh, it was in... It was in that other room, right? Down... Down there? Or you... Was it in here? Oh, you mean that? I see. Yes. Yeah, so this... There was something here, I think. Um... There was a boulder up here that I had to free. And then it allowed me to... Get something here? I don't remember. But yeah, that represents that race. There's the Nagaro and then the uh, Nulug. Nice. Man, I cannot wait until Animal Well comes out. I'm like, seven weeks. Only seven weeks. That goes by very quickly. In seven weeks, I'm going to be like in video game heaven like with this you know but i think like more animal well is a game i've been like not shutting up about for a while now <laughs> just like so amped up for that game yeah and then there's one right there all right in seven short weeks i'm going to be playing that game and just 
to having my mind melted. All right, here's Sathaga. Should be able to scan this. Yep. All right, so we need three more. We need... You won't see each other for a while? Yeah. I hope that there are people who want to kind of live it through me and on the stream. Four more? Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, I want to kind of help Secret Hunt together. But yeah, I know a lot of people are going to be like cutting off all Twitch, YouTube, you know, just want to... I have to try really hard not to spoil anything in YouTube thumbnails and titles. And it's like, I never want to, I never try to, but it's like, you know, I'm so excited about this, this stuff that I making a thumbnail is part of like what I really enjoy doing. That's why I make videos, you know, like it's a creative outlet. So I like most thumbnails I spend a few hours on, you know, maybe, or like at least an hour but I put a lot of work into some and I get like really into it. And sometimes I accidentally, my enthusiasm gets in the way of my brain and I don't realize that I'm spoiling something. And then I upload it and then somebody's like, thanks. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. So I gotta really like try to not do that because that sucks. I do not want to do that. Um, don't want to spoil it. Like in, you know, if somebody wants to click on the video, sure, but yeah like people think that that people do that on purpose and it's not always the case like i don't i never do that on purpose but then it's just like i don't know like that my i'm very enthusiastic about this stuff about secrets and things so i like to share that with people i'm like Grr! and then i'm like oh yeah whoops all right Now, I'm pretty sure I scanned Cthulhu. So we need Yag sothoth the King in Yellow, or the King of Yellow. This is what we just did. Alright. Yag sothoth King of Yellow. Nyarlathotep. The Forgotten and Loathsome. I think those are the four we need. Okay. Eh. The Forgotten and Loathsome. Unless that was the... Serpent. Now let's actually go down here first. I don't think there's anything down here. There was a puzzle to... Uh... Hmm. I'm just going to pop into the next room because the last room definitely does not. There's just like a serpent head ah, puzzle. Yeah, I don't think there's anything here. Might as well. Yeah, okay. Bruh. We, oh my God. <laughs> I think you also had one undiscovered room in your map in the first proper area. Okay. Yeah, I forget I keep forgetting to actually look at the map because I figure it's uh it's just that type of map. Those pink areas are are entrances and exits. And then I wish I could look at all the maps right now, but I can't. It'd be nice to be able to browse through all of them. The key to the gate. We're looking for the key to the gate. But that's... Yag sothoth Okay. Well, there's... There's an entire area that we have to get to yet. And then I don't know, there's a lot of graffiti around. I don't know if this is a puzzle hint right there. It looks like it would be. 
But there's also, I think a lot of the graffiti is kind of just like red herrings because you're used to playing a game like this or like La Milana or this. Uh, and anything, any images anywhere is a hint for something, but I think there are just like a lot of red herrings in this one, which is cool, kind of to throw you off a little bit. Mm. Pog. I am so excited. Okay. So now we have Yig. So the forgotten and what's up, base? The snake symbol outside of this area, back at the obsidian area, whatever, the previous level. That snake. That was the forgotten one. This was Yig. Alright. Now we need. Nyarlathotep, Yog sothoth and the King in Yellow. How you doing, base? Hope you're having a lovely Monday. Alright. That's where we fought a boss. And I'm assuming that once we have some kind of key, this is going to open over here. Because so far, it seems like all of these giant blocks, you can either break or open in some way. They really stand out, so. Okay. And it seems like this is going to open, and I'm going to be able to go down there. Maybe. Uh, oh. Wait a minute, where do I go? Uh... We have to... We gotta go... Hmm. There's a place where I have to fall down. Is that over here? I don't think so. I think... Uh... Yeah, we gotta go to another the other side of this place. I think possibly down the wormhole? Hmm. Or I could backtrack to the... Eh. We can go down the wormhole right now. I could backtrack to the uh, Oblivion Sanctuary, whatever it's called and see if I can get into that other hidden, or whatever, that other room that shows up on the map. I think I might do that first, but I need to heal. Because I gotta get through the death mist. Yeah, an actual wormhole, not a, not a physics-y wormhole. <laughs> This game is free. Yes. I'm surprised this isn't made by the same people that made La Milana. Yeah. It's very, very much like it. It's it's easier for sure. At least the... Uh, yeah, it's definitely easier. It's La Milana for, you know, people who maybe don't have the greatest patience. <laughs> I don't know. The puzzles, the riddles, and the gameplay is mostly easier so far, but... Uh... Ow, man. I should probably save. I have not saved at all yet this session. Jeez. Now let's save over this one. Whoops. We save over the next one. Because I kind of, I wanted that second save. All right, hang on. Let me see if I could do something real fast. I'm assuming that I got to shut the game down completely for this. Uh, I back up my save just in case. I think this is the one I want over here. Just recopy that over. 
Uh, yeah. All right. Because there's still stuff I want to record from that other save. <clears throat> I want to kind of record no hitting bosses, possibly. I don't know if, I, well, I mean, I could always replay through the entire thing, but I'm probably going to do that anyway. This might be a good game to speedrun because it's like shortish, especially if. Eh. Okay, cool. Especially if you already know how to solve everything. I might be interested in speedrunning this. Okay, now. Right, that one. Yeah, we have to go down there, but I need to be healed. I do have full... Uh, here, let's just heal. Oops, forgot how to play. We have 17 semblance mana. Well, actually, I should probably check the map to make sure. No, we've been everywhere. Never mind. That was that's weird. Wasn't there it looked like there was something on the map that I didn't uncover here last time. Huh. That there is a possible door since the map doesn't show there being a room. So that door leading down. Hmm. Okay, wait a minute. So you Ah oh, shit. Okay, I have 14 mana. Uh, okay. I'm glad I did just save, so we, we might die here. Uh, I'm going to use sprint for one, and that's three more. Okay. Sprint. Ward. Map. Hmm, it's not over here. Oh, I can't attack. All right. Well, goodbye. <clears throat> ha! The, uh, I... Anyway, I did use the shield, but, like, I see that everyone seems to be having that issue with uh, Twitch chat, sometimes putting things backwards. So weird. I've been getting that a lot, like a lot lately. When I try to type in people's chats, like it wants to type backwards. I didn't use the shield to get through the spikes because um, I should have been able to get through them without getting hit that one time. And uh, it costs three, and I just wanted to make sure I had enough mana to get through the, the mist. Constantly disconnects for you. Maybe that's it, too. I've been doing a lot more hanging out on people's streams, and it's just like... Sometimes, like, five times in a row or something when I try to type something... Twitch wants to type everything backwards. And then, you know, I have to... Sometimes only a few letters are, like, out of place or whatever. It's just really weird. All right. We got to go straight down from here. Oh, yeah. This is... Yeah, this is the entrance I know about. Right down here. Yep. Okay. This is not the one that I need to go in, right? Pretty sure no. No, we got to go in the other one. There might be things to scan in there, though. Wait. Um.
There definitely was, uh, how do I pronounce MZ or Miz, Miz stream or just MZ? In my head, I always said Miz. Ah. Uh, just want to kill these things for possible. Oh, okay. Might as well heal. Jeez. <laughs> And another question about you. Are you Mizzle Nimble? You're Mizzle Nimble, right? Or completely different person? Sometimes it's like... Difficult to tell who's who, whatever, with names being similar or whatever. And then I assume that it's the same person, but then it sometimes turns out not to be. Hey, Denial, what's up? How you doing? All right, we want to go in this one. Let's try the other one down here. I think it's this one. MZ stream is MZ on Discord. Ah, uh, fuck. It would, it stopped. I jumped and got hit. <laughs> the same thing again. I gotta stop looking at chat right when I walk into this room. Man, thanks. All right. Don't think you are? Okay. MZ stream is MZ on Discord. Twitch chat has been connected a lot, disconnected. Wait, I see it connecting four to five times a day lately. Okay. Yeah. I am zooped. Zooped. Zupa. That's zooper. All right, we got to go down this way. Let me... We don't need to save. Ow. Did I land on something in the air? Let me check this yeah that's pup whatever something we already solved entrance to the sunken city yes don't want to go in there yet okay and then this i'm pretty sure there's nothing over there but i have to look which so we are trying to solve this like ultimate puzzle Yeah, okay. This is just that machine, the boiler, the mechanical marvel. Just in case. It is yellow. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh, wait. I'm gonna get hit. Yep, I don't care. It's fine. This guy has another spell for us, but he he wants to want he wants me to show him something wondrous. You've ignited my memories. Uh -huh. I want only one more spell to trade with. Show me something extraordinary. Uh, uh, God, I, sometimes, man. All right. This. Whoops, that's not even the right button. That. I think is not extraordinary. Shut up. What about this? It's not fully finished yet, but it's pretty extraordinary to me. It is. All right. Fine. Fine. <laughs> it seems like if it was complete. Yeah, I know. It'd be a little bit more extraordinary. Yeah. But something that's surprising me is like all of these slots I still have empty. He's going to give us one spell. We'll probably find another spell in this next area we're going to. But then, like, all of this, that's a lot. 
It's a lot of stuff up there, usable items. And then we have these, like, these are the passive items that, you know, like the Metroidvania upgrades, pretty much. But I think you haven't scanned the thing high above the second entrance. High above the second entrance. Uh... What did it look like? <laughs> yeah. I know, the weapon, yeah. Hmm. All right, so this. All right, I can't attack with this on. All right, well, let's at least get over here and save. Okay, I can't break these things, but I mean, there's also that down there, which is this, this symbol. Okay. I can use items, though, I'm pretty sure. Yes. Ow. Ugh. Yo, maximum semblance. Cool. Mana. Hell yeah. 25 mana. Nice. I don't think I have to break those other things. The snakes. Alright. Now, we're going a little bit insane. Oh, it's one of these guys again. No, 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 no. Ow. Sucking. Uh, okay, I'll keep that equipped. Hi. What are you? Scientist. Joyous day to see such a fresh face down here. In my solitude, I just got Billie Holiday in my head. You guys ever listen to Billie Holiday? Some old jazz? Anyway. I've perfected several serums which may improve your eternal constitution. Take a look at my wares. Laudanum soothes the mind, restores 15 sanity upon use, one-time use only, but you can save this for when you really need it. Yes, well, look at all the gold we have, or the coins. Some laudanum. Yeah, I I was working on a track once where I sampled Solitude by Billie Holiday, and it was going to be a bad track, but I didn't end up finishing it, but I think I want to resample that and then make a new track with it. I love that song. I like a lot of her stuff. Cheat death and recover from your next fatality with 20 health. Okay, well, at least now we know where some of these other item slots go or what they're for. That's cool. Liquid breath allows you to hold your breath for longer. I mean, okay. I have a an item that I can equip that gives me infinite breath, but interesting. Scientist. What what is he? I don't see it. I don't I don't know if I'm seeing it correctly. His face or or its face. Does he have a head? Is he missing a head? Is he like a a priest without a head or something? Cuphead? Like, is that just like a collar and then the habit or whatever? Like the white priesty thing? <clears throat> or whatever that thing's called? I think the whole, the whole outfit is the habit, right? Or is that nuns? Anyway. It would kind of... Nah, it wouldn't make sense for a scientist to be the one that's headless. Well, gee, I wonder what this means over there. 
could it possibly be that that opens when I get all these? Hmm. Interesting. Oh, that's Yag sothoth right there. That's totally not going to kill me, right? Beware, beware the beast, the maw of doom, the bane of sailors, Mother Hydra. Oh. Chosen, wait. Chosen beast of elder times, servant of the great old ones. Be beware her hunger, for she guards these sunken halls with terrible wrath. She guards the stars together with Father Dagon. So yeah, last time we killed Dagon, I think we're going to have to fight Hydra. Her name is Red. She's a boss. Okay. Noise. And then this. The stone head is undoubtedly a depiction of Mother Hydra. Oh, okay. This particular design has been seen in many different places around the world. Worshippers of Hydra claim she is a powerful god, but there's evidence that says otherwise. She's not one of these, right? Ah. Nope. Okay. Interesting. Um... So that thing's gonna definitely breathe fire and then like break these stands or something to allow me to hit those statues in the background without getting hurt. Oh, okay. Maybe I can go in its mouth. Oh, nice. We have, yes. <laughs> Wait, when did I save? Whatever. Am I going more insane? All right. Uh -uh. We're going to totally die a bunch of times. Help. <laughs> okay, it's a one hit. All right. Nice. I just got to rescan everything. Ah, shoot. All right. Should have saved again. Do this. I'm gonna sprint this time as well. Thank you. Huh. Ah. I'm not saving here. Wasn't there another save point in there? I think so. Oh. So this is a bug. We have. It's a known bug. The developer was telling me that if you collect an item while sprinting, sometimes your movement speed gets, whoops, messed up. So I think we just got to quit out to the main menu and then go back in. A little bit of, yeah, I don't know, the backseating stuff. I need to just have a definitive policy on it, but sometimes I'm like, okay with it a little bit, but other times I'm like, nope, no backseating at all. It's just the reason why is like, it does bother me most of the time. I do get annoyed being told what to do, but if it's just like an idea or something like it depends on how it, it's said. You know, if somebody gives me a command, I don't like commands, you know? I don't think anyone likes being commanded. Um, but if it's just like a suggestion, like that's cool. Most of the time. S some things I play, I'm not going to want any backseating at all. I don't want any spoilers. Like the other day, I think Fortunes thought that I was mad at him, but I, it wasn't Fortunes I was upset with. Um... It was being told like a spoiler about how a puzzle thing worked. It was like you can push two blocks like somebody who somebody who hasn't played the game giving suggesting something like that's cool. But something who somebody who has played a game that I'm playing for the first time and knows exactly how to solve something and then kind of spoils it for me, that's definitely not cool. So like telling me if I'm doing a block puzzle. 
and telling me is that I can stack two blocks and push both of them together. That I don't like. That got me mad. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me just see if there's a save point over here first. I could just jump across. <laughs> Another. So this is going to be Hydra right here. Wow. Interesting. We're not going to summon her yet. All right. <clears throat> All right. Wormville. Uh, this is going to be very, much more difficult right now for me than it should be. <laughs> oh, come on. Get up there. Just a little guy. I've got so much stuff. So many saw blades to get past. Oh, God. Gotta love the, uh, the slow cheeky. Fuck! <laughs> the slow cheeky one. I'm pretty tired, so, like, yeah, it's good that I'm only streaming for a little, little bit today. <clears throat> what? Didn't, wait. Ah, oh, sh okay. I gotta back up again. Let's just get all this stuff done. And then I kind of want to mm, backtrack through the other area again, too. Because that means I was hoping that this area right now would have at least one of those other things I can scan for that item, the key. Yes. Let me just buy this, scan everything, and then go back up and save. I guess I'm probably going to die again right now. <laughs> I know, right? Perfect timing. <laughs> you know, there is more to that other area, too. Like, this is Hydra's side of the Sunken City, and then we had Dagon's side of the Sunken City, and when we used our key there to fight Dagon down here, there was also a door over here on like his on on his left. So there's still more back there. Because as soon as we defeat her, this door is gonna open too, and then I'm sure the one over on his side will open as well. So there's gonna be more over there anyway. Alright. Let me just scan this. Oops. Oops. Glad I didn't accidentally use that. What the hell? I fat fingered that one. Alright. I don't have to use multiple saves for these, but... I don't think I'm gonna need all 10 save slots today for this session. All right. all right. Perfect. We almost got it. Let me just... The last time. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Here, you know what? We have how much mana? Oh, I can't cancel this at all. Ah, okay. So they keep you from being able to become a person in here. There's like a enchantment. Or an, it's like, nope. Uh, I did the same exact thing. What? Oh no, well, pretty much. I'm just... Let me tune out stream and just like play a video game. 
I'm not able to talk at the same time right now and be able to do a rhythm thing. Hey. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> I'm glad I saved. probably equip this and then save but we're gonna do it this time <clears throat> jeez man uh, that was so close Fucking serious? That just screwed me up completely. It didn't even make me fall, it just screwed up my timing. The distraction, yep. <laughs> uh, let me save over that last save with the worm. Diamond Face had something to do with the Nagaro and Nulug, maybe? Was it something that ruled over them both? Yeah, I think that the Diamond Face is actually Yag sothoth So we gotta f scan that. Or use the key at it, or whatever. This is like so much more difficult right now than it should be for me. Hang on, let me finish this. <clears throat> I think I, what time is it? I think this is my first, like, uh, you know, when I get up, I have water. I have a whole bottle still. I still have a bunch of bottles. Um, but I think this is my first, after that, first water. I've just been drinking coffee. We're going to do this and then hopefully be able to kill uh, Hydra. And then I'm going to go for today. Damn it. All right. Let me just wait. I'm being, getting impatient. I do want to solve this whole puzzle thing, but I'm like too tired to uh, keep streaming today. I've got to hang out with family because <laughs> it's not tiring at all. 
Uh, a little off the top. Nice and re relaxing, I know, right? <laughs> it's not in laws, though, but yeah. Fucking goddamn it. Why, man? Let me. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> Jeez. It's also, uh, Again, it did the same thing again. I might have to just go now. Because <laughs> I'm like, hang on, let me. Having trouble here. Ah. close <clears throat> I hate this I, mean, I might have to go I'm having trouble like focusing my eyes like I'm like kind of blurry vision right now because <laughs> I'm pretty man <clears throat> me at least turn off the lights so I can see better there was a pit right here <laughs> it's not even that difficult it's really not it's just all right Jeez. thank you we have maximum health now hell yes now just oh i can't die i gotta get out of here i almost killed i killed myself <laughs> hang on god why i hate like starting the stream and then i'm like i'm okay whatever and then i'm just like too tired oh <clears throat> boom I wonder if I could use this to teleport out, but my luck, you won't, I'm not invincible during the uh, summon animation, and then I'm just gonna die trying to teleport out. So, crack those legs, come on. <clears throat> I can't believe I got it and then died. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's 
so so troll <laughs> It's guess they don't go all the way. There's no indication of where they're going to stop, you know, and turn around. <clears throat> so I'm like, it's going to go all the way. F for frustration. Yeah. Actually, the lighting's not that bad. I think I fixed my camera so that I don't really even seem to need the lighting at the moment. Because it used to be like I had it set so that if I turned off the lights, then the camera, whatever the face cam would look really bad. But now I don't seem to, I got a little glare on me or whatever, but like the monitor lighting, but that's cool. I do, I have the lights turned down really low or like pretty, pretty low. Fuck this. God damn it. <laughs> I, oh, and I'm turning translucent. Okay. It's just sometimes, especially, you know, when I'm trying to do something like this. <sighs> what the hell also? Yeah, I thought I had really good sleep last night or like good enough sleep, but. Help. I'm just a little worm. <clears throat> doing anything else is fine it's just streaming is like really difficult without enough sleep because okay. of I guess like anything that requires a lot of uh... <sighs> okay so I'm safe right here I can't use it. <laughs> Anything that requires a lot of multitasking. Okay. Yay! Now give me the hell back up there so I can save. We have full HP. We don't have full sanity. <laughs> check, check. All right. Chirk, chirk. That took way too long, but yeah. Stupid. <clears throat> Just sometimes like doing anything that like that or platformy stuff that requires a lot of timing. Playing Celeste on stream, like Hollow Knight, Path of Pain, or like that didn't even compare to those. But I guess it's it's been the most difficult. Uh... OK. All right. Timing based thing. It's just timing trying to, you know, like I can't on stream sometimes uh, stop talking. <laughs> and like completely focus on the game and it makes thing makes things like that a lot more difficult obviously so we have 13 mana uh let's see if we can't oh yeah let's just see what this looks like oh hey What is equip? Oh yeah, that. To reach the sacred vaults of the Veneraxi, you must drown yourself in a circle of stars. Wow. Talking about knowledge-gated progression, huh? The circle of stars way back in the beginning of the game, underwater. So you just have to drown yourself there. Are you kidding me? Is there anything else barring your progression? That's weird. That's cool. Not weird. That's cool. I like that. All right. Let me put this 
Yeah. Well. Oh, what do we have here? Oh. No. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. It's Hydra. I am insane. Ow. But we have full health and everything. Don't smack me. I'm just gonna spam magic in your face. And you're dead. Okay. Defeat Father Dagon and Mother Hydra. Parental issues. I have no sanity left. Okay, with the magic, that was uh, very easy. Just like Dagon. The other boss fights were a uh, challenge. Like, well, the second, the second one was really challenging. The first one, too, took me several attempts. Like, six, six attempts. Hmm. Okay, let's not drown. Uh... You picked up an Azathoth idol. It screams in blindness. An idol carved in the likeness of Azathoth. His servants bow at his command. Okay, we're gonna have to make something bow to us. Hmm. Maybe that's how we get that last spell? Hold your breath for longer. Last for two minutes. Source 15 sanity. I mean, I'm not gonna use that right now. All right. Hello there. The massive monument is built in the shape of the Venaraxi, the terrible masters of this temple and once the rulers of the world. This marks the entrance to the innermost sanctum of the ruins, the deepest part of their city. Below lays the gate. Only the Venaraxi are uh, allowed to descend deeper. You will need a sacred symbol of theirs to proceed here. Yeah. I can no longer resist, Father. The whispers, the lights, the flow of time. Please give up your search for me. I am already lost to this world. Promise me, Father, that you will not open the gate in search of me. I love you, Father. Live a good life. Yeah. So that kind of gives it away a little bit. Uh, I don't think we have this yet. The... All right. Typo, yeah. I don't know if any of the developers are here. They've been, at least one of them has been hanging out on uh, two of the two previous streams. All right. We need to go, I'm gonna keep playing now, unless I get to something really difficult or whatever, then I'm not going to be able to do it right now, I think. I need to kind of, like, casual style it today. <laughs> oh my god. So now that's opening. Yeah. Oh, hello. Okay. Well, the mural in the front... Showed everything just going this way. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. We need to use laudanum. All right. So we don't die. Is it still chasing me? It is. Why are you here? I'm sane now. I think it went away now. No? Science class. The mural in the beginning of this place showed just the planets aligning to the right side. So we just got to move them over there, it seems. Hmm. I think this might be a bug with this thing. Because I used the laudanum. It, this thing starts showing up after you get in your last, or, yeah, the last bar. 
like the lowest bar of sanity. Damn it. What? <laughs> Get up, fool. Uh, yeah, of course it reset. Of course I'm not going to be able to do this right now. Oh, I see. This is Dagon's side right here. Okay. So we're going to have to... I'm going to have to teleport back to the beginning of the game to recover my sanity. Unless we get this really quickly. Man. All right, fine. I wonder why they made this game free. I know. If if one of the developers shows back up uh, today or in the... Well, yeah. I got to go somewhat soon, though. Or tomorrow I'm going to stream this again. Hopefully uh, not as rough. I'd love to ask them, like, why they ended up making it free. I know that... La Mulana and this type of game has it's more niche you know there are a lot of people who probably don't have the patience for this type of thing based on the steam reviews there are people who play it who are just like oh this is just like a rage game or whatever who don't really who don't like riddles and stuff in games I guess or you know this type of thing and that's totally cool so I wonder if they made it free to kind of, because they knew it was less uh, marketable, perhaps, maybe. But I don't, I don't think so. I don't know. There's plenty of us who are like this type of thing. Uh, let me think here. So we're missing three of these. I don't know where we would have to scan this now. Oh, whoops. Make sure that this one counted. Yeah. whatever nice so we could actually try there's that i don't know what that up there is that might actually be hmm all right hang on let me try scanning a couple of these maybe they didn't think it was polished enough there are a couple bugs but I think this game is, like, amazing. I don't know. I think it's, like, really polished. Okay, that's... Whatever. Screw you. Screw you, spike ball. Playing it, it feels really polished. I don't know what it's like watching, you know, what it looks like, but the control and everything is really, really good. I think when it first came out, uh, it was harder to control. I think it controlled more like La Mulana, which is like, you know, you can only control your... You only have a little bit of air control when you jump straight up in La Mulana. You could jump straight up without holding any side and then in the air then you can move yourself a little bit if you jump to the side like this then you have no air control at all in La Milana. wherever you end up is where you end up nice <laughs> uh. and I think maybe it was like that in the beginning and people were complaining about it so they made the control easier or uh, they just changed it Yeah. <laughs> 
Let me check in here and make sure. Oh, I forgot about you. Yeah. Small bookshop. We already bought all the books from you. Okay. here I think eventually we're gonna be able to get through that I know I can go to the the star underwater and drown myself but okay that's nothing I just wanted to check that damn I'm glad I have max health <laughs> all right I'm trying to remember where certain things are. So we went there. I don't want to drown myself yet. Because I want to try to get... Or, like, hit a couple of these places that I think might have something to scan for this main quest. Except, where is this? Hmm. I don't think there was anything over here. No. What is this, though? Yeah. Boo, 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 boo. We're just gonna go this way, ah, uh, not this way. Down the wormhole. Go back to the, what do you call it? The puzzle that we couldn't solve. Solve that. And then uh, I, there's a door over there that I think, like in Dagon's area. There might be a st solving that constellate or the uh, <laughs> the planet puzzle, solar system puzzle might open a door. I probably ha should end the stream very soon because I'm having trouble just talking and playing. So yeah, this is we have to make them line up like this. All right, so. I guess going in the other entrance would have been the preferable way, but... Oh, hurry up, man. Ugh. All right. Just don't want to lose all my sanity. What? What? Yay! Now we have all the time in the world to do this. Where you drop down? Hmm. Okay. I was focused on coming here to do this first, though. Uh, I see. Oh, that's easy. That makes things a little bit different. I didn't realize it was just the same button controlled these. Well, I don't know if that's right. Oh, in the arrows. I didn't even see the arrows. Nice. Hmm. Hmm. 
Well, they don't stop where the, uh... Yeah. Okay. Now I see. But I don't, the only have you read the tablet? Yeah. I thought I did. Oh. Only when the stars align will the sacred words of ceremony be revealed to the uninitiated. Uh, only when the stars align. I mean. There was no in ah, no indication that that did anything. That's what the mural shows, sort of. Uh, yeah, I think that this is going to open. Damn it. Because the only other place we've seen this is just in the right where we entered oh my god <laughs> right where i just entered and it just shows the planets lined up like that on that side but diagonally so i don't know where i have to put them at all oh i see like this somehow ah <clears throat> hmm. Stupid. All right. Let's put this. We need to block them. So, like, uh, no, we got to go to. No. We need this one to go up that way or that way. And then... I think I need to get the big one. Well... Hang on. Hmm. No. Hang on. Everything is distracting me right now. All right. And then... I don't think it's possible to do this the way that I'm thinking. Can I now bring the small one around to the other side? Maybe. Maybe this will work. Damn it. I need the small one to be... Hmm. <laughs> closer to the... Hmm. It's close. Hmm. Hang on. I mean, I could just look at the picture of it. Hang on. Eh. So it needs to look like that. I think. 
maybe. So, yeah. So we need to bring the small one just over to the other side. Maybe. And then... How am I going to lock that or block it? Because this is like all the way over here. And then this. It's like a timing based thing, I think. Because like that. You know, I just need to get them in the right spots. And I think I do need to use the small one to kind of block the other ones from going too far. So, oops, wrong way. Put that one over there. Put the, uh, this one over there. And then the small one, oops. The arrows don't mean, mean anything to me right now. So block them from being able to go that far up. I think this is what I just did though. And then I could like, I don't know, hang on. And then I can move the small one. Yeah, maybe. But the big one might not be in the right spot after this. Hmm. Okay, and then the big one we could move around all the way. Question mark. Yeah, they block each other, so it's like... Damn it. So... I just need the medium-sized one. <laughs> or Venus, I guess. It's Mercury, Venus, and Earth. Or Mars. Venus. Venus. Uh... What if I do this now? I hate you. <laughs> Hang on, let me move. I want to move this. So I think I, I don't know, kind of had it. We just need the middle one to be, okay. Yeah, let's move the middle one back. Or maybe this side, this way. They just need to go kind of angled upwards to the right. Uh, whoops. Yeah, the small one just directly cardinal cardinal to the right to the to the east, and then the other two kind of angled upwards from there. So. It's going to keep going all the way across, I think. Or is it going to stop here? Yeah, so... I need to bring the small one. Oops. Up there. And then that one gets blocked there. And then the big one could get blocked there and then do I just
I'm probably already did this. Yeah, so this is not going to do anything. Damn. I think we got to move them a little bit at a time, each one. Somehow. Uh... So the big one needs to be out. Yeah, like way over there. Okay, so. I wish I could jump. How do we get the big one to get stuck? Hmm. We need the medium one. We need Venus to get stuck first, I think, and then Earth gets stuck on Venus. <clears throat> but... I keep doing the same thing over and over. Oh. oh. You have to use the little one in the right spot. So now the little one's going to get stuck behind... Mercury's going to get stuck behind Venus there. And then let's... move Venus to get stuck on Mercury on this side. And that's probably the right spot for Venus. And then we get... No! Well, okay, maybe. And then Earth will get stuck there. And then I just need to rotate this around, maybe. I think this might be it now. What the hell, man? It looks exactly like it. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> it's so close. So close. I think Earth is in the right place. Maybe not. Maybe it needs to be... Venus is definitely not in the right place, though. It needs to be more down a little bit more. Uh, but I don't know if I can get it down. Oh, uh, just swing it around, and then maybe it'll stop in the right spot, I hope. <laughs> Shit, of course not. Yeah, it's cool. Cool puzzle. No. Hmm. I think that's fine to do. Uh, I think it's just like, I don't know if I'm doing the exact same thing right now. So that probably is not in the right spot. 
Let's try moving Earth. Can I move it? Wait, it's probably not going to move this. Okay, it did. But that's definitely not. Hmm. Well, we'll get it stuck on the other side. Hey, Wayfinder, how you doing? Yes. Please. Yes. Oh. <laughs> nice. You have picked up the spell Sacred Words of Ceremony. Unlocks a terrible treasure. Yeah. All right. See, I managed to do it. <laughs> that was cool. You just got to like keep rotating them incrementally a little bit at a time, getting them stuck. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Unlocks a terrible treasure. Summons the Veneraxian talisman if used at the sacred mural. Okay. It's the diamond. Excellent. I have so many leftover half-finished projects that it's fun to... Open them and be like, oh my god, I made this. Why did I stop? What kind of... What kind of projects? Art? Or, uh... Music? Video? Electronic music? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Make sure I save soon. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> oh. All right. Now. I'm going to equip this. E. Whoops. Try spamming it in some places. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Ableton. Pretty loops. Boo. Wow. Or FL Studio. I'm pretty sure I scanned Cthulhu already. Yes. Dagon and Hydra do not count. They are not outer gods. Cthulhu, though, counted, even though Cthulhu is, I guess, sort of a god. The, a priest. High priest of Azathoth, I think, right? You die. No, no, no. You die. Go away. Stop. Don't eat me. <laughs> so I got to record footage of me solving that puzzle or, you know, I got to resolve it, but that'll be fun, you know, because I stream this and then I play through it sort of again for video tonight. I'll do that probably or tomorrow night. Uh, all right. Do I want to go up here? I don't think there's... Well, let me make sure there's nothing up here. That... I don't think is anything. Okay, it's just a trap. It's a trap! Same, but it overwhelms... What? I didn't even press jump. I thought maybe I fat bummed it. So this is the Sathaga again. Oh, you jack hole. These guys, man. Blank. Blank. 
Alright, yeah, this is Sathago. We already got him. The Black Toad. And then up there... Oh, let me go back to this spot. Eh, don't. Come on, where's the... Eh. Well, now we gotta wait again. Oh. Here's a diamond. Okay. And then in here we can't do anything, I believe. But that was a hint on the wall over there for... I can heal here, actually. Yes. This thing that I'm lugging around is a key. I just gotta, like, put it in, into its final form by scanning all the gods. Or the murals for the gods, or... Uh, okay, well, that was sucked. I want to go down here anyway, I, I think. Oops. Hey, no, no, no. I'm messing everything up. <laughs> I wanted it in its... Oh, my God. I guess I could have just kept going that way. Wait a minute. Ah, whatever. It's fine. We already solved it. I just wanted to keep it in its... Solved state. Okay, down here, there was just this mural. Or whatever. Oh, yeah, I gotta equip my glasses. To reach the secret, you must drown yourself. Yes. Make sure there's nothing in here. Let me equip this. I think we have to go to the one NPC and show him this. The Azathoth idol. And then we'll get another spell, perhaps. The last spell. I did scan this, right? Yeah. Okay. So Fruity Loops overwhelmed you? I can, yeah. Like, music programs, when you're... That happens to me. It's like, there's a certain... Okay, we need... Certain type of look and UI and GUI or whatever that I get really overwhelmed by. Like, I'm very specific what programs I can use that don't get in the way of my creative outlet. Especially with music. But a little bit with video, too. Um, or some some just take me a really long time to uh, get used to alright yeah Ableton looks really nice lots of round edges and everything the color scheme and, and all that it looks really nice so Ableton's always been a lot easier for me to use than something like Pro Tools or whatever and Cakewalk. Cakewalk is what I... The first DAW that I used, but... Again, like, I started making music on trackers. That's why my... This EP that I'm gonna put out... Whoops. This year. I'm making it in OpenMPT. You know? Just cause... I didn't realize it has full-on, like, sample editing and everything in it, too. That's nice. I can, like, create all my own samples from things, sample-based music, you know? But I'm also, like, I'm I'm not just using, like, short samples. I'm using chords and, uh, you know, I got every drum machine, samples for every drum machine, pretty much. I've got, like, Lego Welt samples in here that he released. Korg Monopoly, like, since I also have a couple synths that I will, this takes MIDI as well. So that's cool. You, I can just jam over things via MIDI. Boom. I'm also going to record vocals on it, I think. Or at least, like, working on this first track, I, uh, I can definitely hear vocals over it. It's, like, a good one for that. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So, that whole theme is kind of 
Wait, what was in here? That guy who sold me the tonics and stuff, the laudanum. Yeah, I, I'll send them to you. Give you some Lego Welt flavor. Um, I think on his website, if he still has his website, he had like this old school, like 1990s style website with uh, borders and stuff on whatever they were called frames. I don't remember like old school internet. He made his site look like it was made in the 90s. Yeah. So, <clears throat> uh, he released a bunch of sample packs on there. That's not even all of them. And then I have a million samples that I've made over the years. And then I'm going to make new ones with like a couple of pieces of gear here. And, uh, yeah. So the whole theme is kind of, uh, the first music I ever made was with trackers. So since I haven't made music in like the almost 10 years, probably, uh, my return, the return to music making is going to be through tracker music. I think that's really fitting. And again, like dude guy, bro, man, like totally inspired me to start working on it again. I've been wanting to for like the last few years. Okay. Or at least, at least five years I've been wanting to, but I just haven't given myself the time to do it. I've just been like, okay, that's right there. We got to do that. Just been too busy working on videos. And then I started streaming and then I'm still trying to balance. Like I need to work on videos a lot more than I am like for sure. Uh, we got to go around. Shit. What was in here? I'm going to have to stream less. What was in here? Oh, nothing. <laughs> but I think I'm going to right now I'm streaming during the day for me, like throughout my afternoon and everything. I'm going to try to I need to fix my sleep schedule soon, sooner than later. So that I can. Uh, do a, a couple streams early, early streams, and then finish by like 2 p.m. for me. And then I could work on videos throughout the rest of the day. Because I'm somebody who I get most of my work done during the day. I, it's harder for me to I can't attack you from there. It's harder for me to do uh, video work at night. Nice. Whatever. Or as far as like record, well, some stuff I could do at night. Anyway, you know what? So we got to go down the wormhole, which is right over here. That's nice. This is Cthulhu, correct? All right. Do some streams earlier and maybe like two streams uh oh wait i need to turn back into human at night like two nighttime streams a week took too long to get that out <laughs> all right are you kidding me that's that's gotta be one of them i just wasn't in the right spot all right let me try to take all these enemies out so i could uh do this easier. Nah, <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, East-West sounds like Hollywood strings and stuff, but it was too much and I wasn't using it enough, but damn, it has some high quality orchestra sounds. Yeah. I got a... Unfortunately, most of my samples are... Whoops from an Ensonic ASR-10. I used that for years and sampled so much. I worked at a university in an electronic music recording studio and I wish I had a shield. I mean, I do have a, a spell that's a shield, but instead of that, let's just shoot them. I don't care. Teleport someplace where I can hit you. 
<laughs> Without getting knocked down, please. Jeez. Of course, they're not going to. Yes. All right. Well, I should be able to do this. Uh. All right. Variation of the symbol representing rep representing the Veneraxi. Ancient masters of the runes. This one seems connected to, to the mural further below. Ah, oh, come on, man. So that doesn't seem to be one of the gods. I mean, it's not. It represents the Veneraxi. So that's not one of the things I need to scan with those, that key. Let's get out of here. Yeah, so if I wanted to use any of those samples, I'd have to... I'm, I'm not going to. I'd have to rip them off of all these floppy disks. Or actually, no. It was floppy disks at first. And then uh, I got the SCSI drive for the Ensonic ASR-10. But still, it's SCSI. It's like old technology. Gotta rip that out. I have it in storage right now. I want to sell that thing because they still go for like 2,000 bucks. And I'm not going to use that thing again. So we can sell that and then get some new gear. That would be nice. That's the plan. Hopefully I can find somebody who wants to buy one of those. It's just like very antiquated now and uh, difficult to use. All right. Well. What else is there for me to do all the way out here? I don't, the only thing left is to uh, drown myself, right? Let's just go here. Oh yeah, the DND app. I wasn't able to log in or anything through my phone. I tried both. I use, I have an iPhone and I use a Google app mostly to surf the internet or whatever. And then I also, I tried Safari as well and I was logged into my Google account in Safari. But then when I went to use the, uh, like your app, it was acting as if I wasn't logged in and I couldn't use it. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Here, let me heal again. I do have to go. I have a family who just showed up. I hear them out there. My sister and my nephews are here. They just let themselves in. It's fine. <laughs> so I'm just gonna drown myself in this hole over here and then... Uh, I think it's over here. Oh, it's not over here. Crap. Now we're gonna, I'm playing for another five minutes. I gotta find this spot. It's in this area. Or this next area. I wonder if, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hang on here. Just I'm just curious about something. Oh yeah, there was this thing that I needed to do. Man. All right, that, let me just try this. No, okay. Ow. <laughs> What's above the church? There was nothing, it was a rooftop with a, uh, I think it was a max HP increase. Ow. Man, we were so close to where I needed to go right now. Let's make sure I already got that one. I'm gonna backtrack to this. There's an NPC I need to, I wanna try to show Ow. him the, uh, the Azathoth uh, symbol that I got. Because if it's not something that I need to show him, then I have no idea what the hell it's for. Alright, 
he is I believe all the way down here or maybe not well oh of course the spikes yeah he's past here all right i think extraordinary that's not gonna be it right an azathoth idol how is this that thing is not extra shut up man fine <laughs> All right, last thing then. Oh, wait, I didn't even realize this is on this side. What does this do? Ah, cheat death and recover instantly from the next fatality with 20 health. So does this only work once? Or is it a permanent? I don't know. All right, so he's still looking for something extraordinary. Uh, I doubt it's laudanum or liquid breath. We have two more items we can get. It's probably this thing. Once I finish it. Uh, okay, I'm just going to teleport out. Buy another one. Because I think we have plenty of coins for like the rest of this playthrough. And then in here, we need to drown ourselves. And then, where was that? I'm trying to remember where the water is in here. <clears throat> was it in here? Crap. Ah. Uh. I don't think there's anything over here. I mean, I already, like, went here in the beginning of this stream. Oh, yeah, the water... There is water down here. Derp, this is it. Okay. Yeah, it's right down here. Right? Yeah, so this is where the hole is. Okay. Well, I'm just going to drown myself inside of here. Please, I hope it doesn't... I hope I'm right. <laughs> Get in there. Yep. Did I lose my hat permanently, though? My hat. Aha. Nice. That's cool. So I wonder if you can do that from the beginning of the game to access this area right here. That's pretty awesome. All right. Now, surely there are plenty of things to scan here, right? Circle of stars mirrors that found inside the obelisk gardens. Inside the circle is an ominous black void. There appears to be no way to travel through the circle from this side. Huh. What if? Oops. Well, I'm glad that I have one of these teleportery items. The, oh, another keyhole. Interesting. So we're going to have to travel around the entire world. And, uh, well, there's at least three keyholes that I know of now. In fact, let me... Oops, now we're flooding the area. What am I trying to do? That, and then... Just gonna... Keyhole 3. Shh. 
Oh. Oh, so this is right outside of Dagon's. Okay. Shortcut back out. That's cool. All right. <laughs> I gotta... <laughs> oh, no. Oops. Let me see if this is one of these. Damn it. This is the big mural thing that I'm supposed to use the... Okay. Sacred vault and resting place of the Veneraxian talisman. The symbol needed to enter into the deepest parts of the city. It will only be presented for those whom the stars have aligned. For those who know the sacred wor uh, words of ceremony. Okay. So. Now. We use this. Uh, whoops. We use this. Uh-oh. Boss fight? Of course. Hi. That's mine. Did you think I'd forgotten about you? Ha. Huh. You have solved all these puzzles and hardships only for us to swoop in and claim the rewards. You're such a fool. But now you have earned the right to die. I'm almost dead already, dude. Damn it. Uh, he's just a noodle. He's a spaghetti. I need to heal again because I'm almost dead again. I have two H or two mana. Amazing. So amazing. Um, oh, I can't heal again. What is this? Conjure coin. Damn it. I think maybe I could have had the last weapon by now and maybe even the armor there's armor and a weapon apparently well according to things i've read in the game oh geez you're gonna attack me with money and everything else so i'm totally dead oh but i have iframes because that thing triggered um oh that makes sense. <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta go anyway. Now I know, though. Oh, shit. Too bad I don't have any mana, and I missed my opportunity here. Nice. All right. Meh. Where was my last save? Hang on. That's fine. We got to do stuff. Meh. I got to go. All right. Well, we got some progress done. Uh, uh, but...